let's take a look at 7b now 7b what it says is study the pattern of numbers in each row of the table below each row relates to one of the figures in the sequence of figures on page 22 some rows have not been included in the table complete the rows numbers 1 2 and 3 mm, 1 2 and 3 all right let's see now figure 1 number of squares in the figure 3 perimeter is 8 let's see what that means 1 2 3 squares perimeter we're looking at the perimeter here starting here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay now figure 2 5 squares perimeter is 12 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 squares perimeter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's say figure 3. 7 squares, perimeter 16. 1. Ah, first of all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 squares, right? Perimeter 16, let's say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? Perimeter 16. Now, figure 4. Number of squares, perimeter. Let's see. Figure 4. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 squares. So that's 9 squares. And then, what's the perimeter? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, it seems like that is... 9 and 20 so there are let me make this a bit brighter 9 squares and the perimeter 20 see that in fact if this is 16 if this is 16 and just as in figure 4 you have the other two squares 16 17 18 19 20 21 is it 20 or 21 let me see something here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 And this having two more squares, uh, just double checking. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ah, uh, let me go again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right, it is 20. It's 20. So, perimeter is really 20. So, it's 9 squares and uh, 20 perimeter. Let's see now. This here, part two says for the three squares. I'm supposed to find the figure, number, and the perimeter. 
let's see what could be happening here if this is the case we're going to have to find up some rule that um, map the figure number with the number of squares with the perimeter so let's see one to three two to five three to seven four to nine could it be that two times one is two plus one give you three let me see two times two times one is two plus one two three two ones two and one three two times two is four plus one give you five two times three plus one two three six and one seven two times four plus one it seems as as if that is it two times four is one plus two times four is eight plus one is nine so it seems as if what happens here to get the father tree you have two times call this x for now two times x plus one and that gives you the father tree so so it seems as if what you're supposed to do to get the number of squares is say two times the figure number and then add one to it right two times one two is two plus one here this is two of these plus one one at the top oh it's two these two plus one is these two two twos four plus one so in figure two you have two set of twin boxes actually i would call them joined together plus one here in figure three you have one two three of these plus one so it seems like that this is really the case you have two times the figure number then plus one gives you the number of squares there's two times let's call this figure number x whatever it is two times x plus one and that will give you the number of squares for the tree so we're going to have to figure out what x is so this is 2x plus 1 give you 43 let's minus 1 from both sides so minus 1 the 1 is gone 43 minus 1 give you 42 over here then x is equal to divide both sides by 2 and you get 42 over 2 is 21 so this now let me go back to black color this that I see as X should really be yeah, 21 this is 21 all right now this was rough work so far I can just write down from now that if this is N then what you have is 2n plus 1 all right now I am going to have to figure out did you do it before before now remember you should do these questions before you know we we'll have to figure out how to get the perimeter how do you get the perimeter of that figure of the figure now three what do you do to get this perimeter three two six seven eight five two ten plus two give me twelve seven two is fourteen and two gives me sixteen it seems as if if I multiply the number of squares by two then add two to it 
then I'll get the perimeter right just from looking at it so in this case if you say 2 times 3 plus 2 2 3 6 and 2 7 8 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2 give you 12 2 times 7 is 14 plus 2 give you 16 hmm interesting before it was 2n plus 1 to give to go from figure number to number of squares right and then 2 times number of squares plus 2 gives you 8 right so this is 2 4 is 8 no, 2 9 is 18 plus 2 gives 20. I'm going to have to figure out how to map directly from the figure number to the perimeter. So, it's 2 times the, num the figure number plus 1 that gives the sequence, the, the, the squares, the number of squares. And then 2 times this plus 2 that gives the perimeter it seems so let's check it out 2 times 2 is 4n plus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2 4n plus 4 does 4n plus 4 work let's see 4 times 1 is 4 plus 4 is 8 4 times 2 is 8 8 and 4 is 12 4 times 3 is 12 12 and 4 yeah 16 4 times 4 is 16 plus 4 is 20 so what we could do instead of using this now go and map directly from n and say this is 4 times 1 plus 4 4 1 is 4 and 1 4 1 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. It is 4 times 2 plus 4. 4 2 is 8. 8 and 4 is 12. 4 times 3 plus 4. 4 3 is 12. 12 and 4 is 16. 4 times 4 plus 4. 4 4 is 16. And 4 20. It seems as if down here it should be 4 times n plus 4 okay interesting but there's some this part is left out for us to do so what I could do is say 4 times this should really be 4 times 21 plus 4 equal what is this 21 by 4 21 by 4, 4, 1, 4, 4, 2 is 8. So this is 84 plus 4 gives you 88. So this would be 88. Hmm. So this is a pattern. 4 times n plus 4. So 4 times n plus 4 will give you the perimeter of the figure all right so this seems to be it for now so for, for part b right so um we're going to look at part c a bit later